Are you taking a video? Yes. Hi. <laughs> Svimi eating her lunch. Lunch, not breakfast. Nadia is eating breakfast now. Yeah, it's 11 a.m. <laughs> and, and right now we're in a small village of 11 people, if I remember right. Mm -hmm. Which is under another small village called Bad Munde. Yeah. I say it right. Which is uh, close to Hanover, which is in Lower Saxony which is a state in Germany. <laughs> I think everyone will recognize Germany, if nothing else in there. <laughs> As you just heard, I'm in the middle of nowhere in a small village in Germany. So this is not going to be like my usual videos, if you're used to that where I go do a lot of things, see a lot of stuff in a famous city. This is actually something like the 45th day of my trip in Europe. After 45 days of going through 10 cities and walking more than 700 kilometers and sleeping in more than 23 beds, I kept track of all of that by the way. After doing all of that, you end up getting a little exhausted, which is why I'm visiting my old friend and old neighbor, Phoebe, in her village and staying in a farmhouse with her animals and horses and cows. And today, we are going to go see Phoebe's horses. Apparently, I'm gonna help her clean up horse poop. Then uh, I'm gonna try to ride one of her horses. Today is also the third group stage game for Germany in the World Cup, which is a huge deal here because if you're not following football or soccer as you might call it in the States, Germany are the current world champions and they need to win this game by a lot I think to actually make it into the second round so that's a big deal. The so neighbors have some cats. This one's not the nicest one apparently but that little cute one right there is Emily which is uh, basically a dog. So Femi and I actually go way back to 2013 back when we were both uh, exchange students in Reykjavik and we were neighbors and really quickly became really good friends and hung out a lot, partied a lot, tried a lot of weird food together. And five years later, Femi and her boyfriend, Sebastian, were wonderful enough to let me crash in their little farmhouse in uh, Badminder for the last couple of days, which is really nice and very much needed. So, Zab and Femi, if you're watching this, Thank you. Love you guys for this. All right, so this is Femi's car. She's still got an Icelandic flag there. And as you might have guessed, she's kind of obsessed with horses. So there's like a little horse sticker thingy in the back. The neighbor's dog is going crazy for some reason. So I'm gonna get out of this area before he uh, bites me. Goodbye normal shoes. Hello, horse riding shoes. Yes. So we're going to clean up horse poop first. Is yeah. that right? Okay. <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna try to ride a horse. This is a normal horse, right? It's an Irish horse. It's an Irish horse. I don't know what's <coughs> special about them. This is a really good view. Thank nice. you. I'm learning a little bit of German as we're going to the farm. It's very important to learn German. If you're especially trying to get in clubs in Berlin, they don't like tourists in Berlin, in the clubs. Okay. So they try to keep it locals only. If they ask you questions in German, you're supposed to like say something in German. And I went with uh, my friend, they're both foreigners, and one was English, to this uh, club called Treso. He said something in German, and I was gonna say something like, Ich kann kein Deutsch, aber something like that. So they're like sympathetic. But my friends started speaking English and their mood completely changed. The guy was all of a sudden like, sorry guys, this is not gonna work out. <laughs> they didn't let us in the clubs. No, they're very exclusive in Berlin like that. I think there's a famous club called Bergheim, which almost no one gets into. And people from Berlin don't even care, it seems like. Like everyone I talk to is like, yeah, I go to clubs, never even tried Bergheim. But all the tourists are like, it's like a magical thing. We have to get into Bergheim. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. We made it to the farm. And I don't know if you can see from this angle, but there are a couple of really cute horses back there. This is the first time ever I think I'm gonna do like actual farm work in my life. <laughs> Enjoy, right? 
schreibt hier, Emma. This one? Hello, boy. That is the Irish horse that I'll be riding today. That is taking a piss, but he's just drinking water. The dog's trying to get out. Right there is all the poop we'll be cleaning. Sugar. Hello, sugar. Poop queen. Oh shit! I stepped on poop. <laughs> yeah, now she wants more carrots. And now she's serving us. <laughs> and here my horse as well. What's her name again? Or what? Run. 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 Okay. She's shy and crazy. Okay. And this is a dangerous mix. <laughs> horse. Hello, sir. Or ma'am. And this happens. Just no, keep it, keep it. Yeah. No. Grab it. Yeah. Ooh. Ate the whole thing. <laughs> oh, oh she's nice. Super nice. She's helping you. Yeah. Please. Good job. Good girl. Hey, back, back, stay. <laughs> I think I'm ready, or at least properly dressed to ride a horse. And I'm gonna switch to my GoPro so I can record while I'm trying to ride this. Yeah. Should we go into the truck? Yeah, sure. Okay, pick her up a little bit more. Okay. Good horsey. Global warming. Yeah. Thanks, America. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Just got done riding Emma, and uh, I tried to get it on my GoPro, but the tricky thing was every time she started galloping, the GoPro would just go down like that. Yeah, so this wasn't the best um, harness, I guess, for recording it. This was pretty fun. I think I got some decent footage in there. It's time to get clean and go watch the World Cup. Who are we playing? Germany and uh, South Korea. Korea. South Korea. Okay. And I'm actually wearing a Zeb's jersey from 2016. <laughs> so I'm gonna fit right in. No one's gonna know. I'm from not from Badminton, I think. <laughs> are you sure? I think so. So we're going to watch the game in a fire station. So, Germany just lost the game, which makes me believe that I am officially Germany's bad luck charm because I'm wearing a German jersey today. And I was in Berlin for the Mexico game at the Brandenburg Gates, which is like, I think there was a half a million people over there, that's what they said. And they lost that one too. The one game I didn't watch, I was in Copenhagen, they won against Sweden, so maybe I shouldn't have been watching this game. We're just gonna drink a couple of beers and chill and uh, not talk about football because no one wants to talk about it right now in Germany. <laughs> oh, so we were supposed to go home an hour or so ago, but we just ended up playing football with a bunch of kids and a bunch of adults for the last hour, and I actually scored a bunch of goals. Highlights for that. That wasn't too hard because I was playing against kids. Should I step? You can go slow, it's fine. It's still a good view. So I took a little break from what my friends were doing and decided to go on this uh, two kilometer walk by their village to watch the sunset. So this thing right here, my friends and family and uh, beautiful strangers watching this, is called a, 
Radla. 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 I can't pronounce it. The R is pronounced interestingly in German and I'm not very good at it. So this is something that I've been doing basically for my whole trip, which is taking the time to go out every day and try to see the sunset. Obviously that's not possible when you're in a place like Berlin or Vienna, you're not really going to watch the sunset unless you know any special vantage points that I'm not aware of. But I still like to um, go out when the sun is setting during the golden hour, is what they call it, and just see the golden light reflect off everything and I think it's the most beautiful part of the day. This really is the prettiest sunset spot I think and uh, I think it's important when you're doing a long trip or what I call a long trip for a couple of months to take some time off and just go to small towns not spend all your time in cities I'm gonna end this video on a high note here thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you did like it don't forget to hit the like button if you want to watch more videos by me um, feel free to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions or anything to say about this place or this trip or anything else you want to ask feel free to leave that in the comments Thanks again for watching the video. See you guys next time. Cheers.